Hey guys, in this video I'm going to review and test power station from ArcPax. What is the most interesting feature about this power station is IP67 waterproof rating. That means it can withstand spraying with the water or even submerging into the water for a short period of time. And uh, this is my first time when I'm going to test power station like that. In this video I will do load, stress and capacity test for power station. We will charge this from solar panels and uh, spray this with a shower and submerge into the water and we'll see if it works after all of those tests. At the end I will disassemble this station to see how well it's built inside. If you're interested let's jump into the video. In a package with a power station we get an AC charging co cord and ropes with the carabines to carry power station. The specs for power station is 1.5 kilowatt hours of capacity and 1.8 kilowatts of uh, AC output power. In the front of power station we have power on button, we have button to activate LED which has two stages and then we have accessory port 120 watts maximum and then we have USB ports, left side combined 45 watts and right side all of these combined 173 watts. All of them covered with this uh, rubber gasket which is nicely sealing all of these ports. On the left side of power station we have grills for fan, same on the other side. And on the back side, we do have four AC outlets. We have button to activate inverter. And then behind this cover, we have port for solar panels input, reset button and the AC input charging port. The weight of this power station is a 21 kilos or 48 and a half pounds. Now I'm going to perform capacity test. Power station is charged to 100% state of charge. And for the capacity, I'm going to draw 300 watts and we will see how much usable capacity we are getting from AC side. Power station just shut it down and uh, let's see what we've got. One point three kilowatt hours. For solar charging in the specification we have voltage anywhere from 15 to 48 volts, 400 watts maximum and uh, right here I have panel 395 watts and uh, right now is 11 am so we should get somewhere 70 to 80 percent of uh, full production. And on a power station if we take a look we have 86 watts. And uh, I did try to connect and disconnect this panel and connect other panels and uh, still I'm not getting full capacity. So it looks like it has some uh, issues with MPPT charge controller. Now I'm going to see how much time it's going to take to charge this power station from 0 to 100%. Power station almost fully charged. Uh, we are at 99% state of charge and uh, it's just consuming 184 watts. And uh, here's the time. To stress test power station, I'm going to use this 12 inch saw, which is rated for 120 volts, 15 amps. And of course, it's a, it's a lot of stress for power stations to run this motor. Let's try to cut this four by six piece of lumber. The motor cannot get full speed and the power station just shutting down. Let's try to run shop vac which is 1000 volt amperes. Now I'm going to measure voltage drop. In the idle mode for power station we have 120 volts AC output and when we connect space heater we have 119.6 volts so just 0.5 volts drop and here on the meter we can see that this is pure sine wave output with the 60 hertz. Now I'm gonna do load testing for 10 minutes with 1.8 kilowatts of output power. Thank you. 
and it did work well with a load exceeding 100% of the power station capacity. Now let's connect AC load to the power station and spray this with a shower and see how well it can handle it. Now is the most interesting test. So we have lights still working and uh, on the screen there like kind of wave indication and this uh, water drop icon. After removing power station from the water, instructions saying that we have to manually wipe all USB ports and to dry internal components we have to activate self-drying mode. About 40 minutes later, power station activated back and now I can see on the screen indication that USB-A port still has some water inside and uh, all other ports works fine. So here I'm going to charge phone from USB-C port and uh, connect uh, 120 volts space heater and uh, all of this works well. Here is a power station disassembled. This is a battery pack. It's lithium ion battery. Nominal voltage is 44.4 volts, 31, 35 amp hours. This is front cover. And this is inverter part right here. final thoughts about this power station. On the improvement side, first item of course is MPPT charge controller. I cannot get full output from solar panel. I did talk to company and they mentioned that this is prototype version, they still working on MPPT charge controller and it's going to be fixed and improved in a production version. Second improvement is uh, batteries. Right here we have lithium ion batteries which usually have a uh, 1000 cycles. If it could be updated to lithium iron phosphate batteries, we can get 2000 cycles plus. On the other side, lithium ion battery bank is more power dense, so we might have smaller power station. Third item I want to mention that uh, this power station was not able to run 1.8 kilowatts SOAR, and uh, this is kind of expected from power station, it's over the limit of this, and uh, uh, such loads can kill power stations. If you need to run heavy equipment, you have to double capacity of output for power stations. On the positive side of this power station, I'm really impressed with IP67 rating. We can use this power station under the rain and not to be worried about damaging this power station because it did survive even submerging test. And uh, in the general, it's well-built quality, even it's in a prototype mode. The company launching Kickstarter page. So if you want to be one of the first person who is gonna receive production version, check out links in the description and help this company to make this life. And I want to thank your company to giving me opportunity to be one of the first reviewer and tester for this product. And uh, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you later.